Hello and welcome to the S Fun Play. In today's video, let's learn what is an ecosystem. An ecosystem is a geographic area where plants, animals, and other living organisms, along with the weather and landscape, work together to form a bubble of life. Ecosystems contain both biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are living things like plants, animals, and other organisms. Abiotic factors are non-living things like water, sunlight, rock, oxygen, temperature, and humidity, etc. Every factor in an ecosystem depends on other factor either directly or indirectly. A small change in the temperature of an ecosystem will affect what plants can grow there and what animals can survive there. Animals that depend on plants for food and shelter will have to adapt to the new temperature changes or move to another ecosystem or perish from the earth. Ecosystems can be very big or very small. Small tide pools and ponds left by the ocean as the tide goes out are examples of small ecosystems. These tide pools contain seaweed, which is a kind of algae that uses photosynthesis to create food. Herbivores such as abalones eat the seaweeds. Carnivores like the starfish eat other aquatic animals such as abalones, mussels, etc. in the tide pool. The whole surface of the earth is a series of interconnected ecosystems. Ecosystems are often associated with larger biome. Biomes are larger sections of land, water or atmosphere. Forests, ponds, lakes and reefs are a few examples of biomes. Within each forest, each pond, each reef or each lake, you will find many different ecosystems. A desert biome, for example, includes a wide variety of ecosystems. A desert biome has a very hot, arid climate. Within the deserts are oasis ecosystems, which have date palm trees, freshwater and animals such as crocodiles, lizards and other reptiles. These deserts also have dune ecosystems. Living organisms in these ecosystems, such as snakes, lizards and scorpions, must be able to survive in the sand dunes for long periods of time and sometimes even without food and water. The rainforest biome includes hundreds of ecosystems like canopies, understories and forest floors. These ecosystems support a lot of food chains. Canopies are ecosystems at the top of the rainforest where thin fig trees grow taller and taller in search of sunlight. Canopy ecosystems also include other plants called epiphytes such as mosses, ferns and liverwort which grows directly on branches of other trees. Understory ecosystems thrives under the canopy. They are darker and more humid than canopies. Animals such as monkeys live in the understory ecosystems eating fruits and leaves from the trees. Forest floor ecosystems support a wide variety of flowers which are fed on by insects like butterflies. Butterflies in turn provide food for animals such as spiders in the forest flow ecosystems. Decomposers such as termites, slugs, scorpions, worms and fungi thrive on the forest flow. Many ecosystems have been overtaken by the growing human population. Millions of hectares of grasslands have become farmlands now. As a result, the grassland ecosystem shrunk and only a few plants and animals live there. Thousands of hectares of Amazon rainforest are being cleared every year for agriculture. However, the destruction of rainforest ecosystems has its own cause. Many medicines have been developed from the rainforest plants. Cura, which is a muscle relaxant, and quinine, which is used to treat malaria, are just two of these medicines. Many scientists say that destroying the rainforest ecosystem not only destroys the plants and animals living there, it may also prevent more new medicines from being developed. Thanks for watching DS1 Play. See you in the next video. Subscribe for more videos. Why not subscribe right here, right now? Don't forget to press the bell icon. The choice is yours. DS1 Play.